Hi, everybody. How are you? Good to see everybody. <laughs> uh, I wanted to read a book with folks today. Let me share my screen. This is a new series of books that I found um, that is quite silly, but also about uh, using your imagination, doing some pretend play at your house, things that we can all be doing right now. So it's called a Skippy John Jones by Judy Shackner. That's the name of that cat, Skippy John Jones. <laughs> Believe it or not. Oh, uh, yeah. There. He's very imaginative. He does like a lot of different things and a lot of different kinds of play. Skippy John Jones. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Britches, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms or flew or did his laundry in Mrs. Doohickey's bird bath. <laughs> the lecture went on and on as usual. You got some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat, not a bird. Not a mouse or a grouse, not a moose or a goose, not a rat or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I bounce on my bed. And once or six times, I land on my head. And <laughs> on his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom weir. Holy guacamole, exclaimed Chippy John Jones. What was that? He went up again, and again it happened. You notice something about his reflection? What animal does he look like? My ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body. I'm not a Siamese cat. I am a chihuahua, he said. Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword, climbed onto his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing a in a muy, muy soft voice, which means very, very soft voice in Spanish. Oh, my name is Capito Frisquito. I'm not, I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like the jello. I get the job done, yes, indeed. -o. <laughs> Back in the kitchen, Juju B. Jezebel and Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? asked Jujubee. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterious event of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ay, caramba, who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I'm El Scapito, the great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? asked Piquito Tito. I go incognito, said Scapito. You like rice and beans? asked Pintolito. See, I love mice and beans, said Scapito. You might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, he knows the secret password. Leaning toward Don Diego, El Scapito half sneezed. Half spoke the secret password in the Chihuahua's very large ear. Ah, Chu Pichu! Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, said Scapito. Then it is true, decreed Don Diego. Yippee, 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 -do. It's the end of Alfredo Bazito. 
Skipito is here. We've nothing to fear. Adios to the bad bumbolito. And all the chimichangos went crazy, loco. <laughs> First they had a fiesta. Then they took a siesta. But before waking up, the chimichangas got down to serious business. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great bumble beetle for Scapito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos, so great that one could hear a whisper drop. Afredo Bazito, whispered the crowd. A blimbo bumble beetle bandito. See, si, said Piquito Tito. The bandito steals our free holes. Not your beans, cried Scapito, outraged. See, si, Piquito continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked and blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto and jelly too. Now he's come for us, Piquito added. Poor K, asked Capito. That means why in Spanish. Because we're full of beans too. Then Don Diego stood tall in his most somber voice declared, Yo quiere frijoles. What, asked Capito. The dude just wants his beanbags, said Piquito Tito, and you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Scapito. Then all the chimichangos turned towards Scapito, who said he was the great sword fighter. But poor Scapito had no time for a plan because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangos scattered in all directions. Vamos, Scapito! Whoa! Or it's you, the Benito Eo, they cried. Scapito stood his ground, but his legs shimmy and shook like jello, and his teeth chattered like castanets. Then, in a muy, muy soft voice, he said, My name is Scapito, Scapito. I fear not a single bandito. But Alfredo Bazito flew straight for Scapito until the beaded ink bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighters, see. Holly, free Holly, is cried Scapito as he thrust his sword into the air. <laughs> okay, suddenly, pop, went the bandito, landing on Scapito's sword, and quicker than one could say, chihuahuas, cheese, and crackers, every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo Bazito, the bumblebeeto bandito. <laughs> I see jelly beans, yum, yum. And green beans, also yum yum. Then all the doggies burst into this song. Yip, yippee, yippee, no. Our hero is El Scabito. He's the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans. And now we can make our burritos. <laughs> well, back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John Jones's room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room Benguito, Crachito, Papito, Skibito! Just in time to see Skippy John's closet exploding. Then out flew candy, beanbag doggies, and the kitty boy with his birthday pinata on his head. Oh, that's what it wasn't a real story. Skippy John Jones was just imagining that. The stuffed animals were the dogs. His birthday piñata with the bumblebee. Oh, <laughs> hola muchachitas, Skippy John Jones said in a muy, muy soft voice. Mama Jumba Jones lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with furry, purry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. <laughs> that night when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones with the mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I don't want my cat, but forget about that. Say good night, Skippy John Jones, called his mama. Wait, it's no chase me, amigos, said Skippy John Jones. Yay, there's the end. Woo! I hope you enjoyed it. Very silly book, and I hope that you can pretend uh, use your imaginations when you're at home, too. Bye, everybody. See you soon, I hope.